We took on this project and we decided we were going to commit to each other and do it as the custodians of this movement. You know, we talked about graffiti art in Los Angeles and how there wasn't really a voice. So we felt it was important to collaborate on how we can actually present Los Angeles graffiti art in a tasteful manner. I was thinking about doing a book on Belmont and you were thinking about doing a book on freeways mm -hmm. and we decided let's do the book about the whole city. Let's do the whole thing. And then from there we came up with the name The History of Los Angeles Graffiti Art, Volume 1. So we said, let's break it up in eras. Yeah. The first era being from 83 to 88. Um, the second era, which is this book here, would be 89 to 94. And then we started to go out and get the content. The significance about this book was really in the writer's stories and explaining the phenomenon of why writers actually do graffiti. I've never seen a project where it was explained and they were able to cross-reference each other just like how real history is documented. And it was very special because as Wes said, you felt an emotional type of attachment to them, understand their stories, reading their stories and how they connected to the whole time and to the whole culture. They gave us access to their tombs. We were able to pry open those tombs and look through these years and years of these archives. I think anybody else would have had a hard time accessing that information. It's about trust and it's really, are you part of this culture? Because with graffiti artists, we're different than other cultures. We only trust each other. It's a secret society, it's a family, and that's what's beautiful about this. It is about something special that really cannot be told by any other person. When the first book came out, it was definitely an amazing accomplishment. The quality and the texture and how we presented the book, everybody loved. The second book's pretty amazing. It's 458 pages with over 74 candid interviews and over a thousand images. The quality of the book, the stitching of Smith's sewn, it's the highest level quality. We did not want to take any shortcuts. We felt like this book, as this culture, deserves the greatest. And we're definitely proud of that. A lot of people are like, yeah, I remember when the heavens were first done in 89. I remember the, the whole Chaka thing. We're going to the heavens, the Renaissance, the Dark Ages, really trying to identify who are we? You know, what's our style? In 8994, we made our identity. And that's what's definitely special about this book. Hey, we're hitting freeways. We're bombing, we're doing these blockbuster pieces. So it really was an evolution of a new style, a, a new trend in Los Angeles that has never been seen before. So why do we need your help? Even though Whisk and I have created an amazing book, we still need to print and produce it. And that's where you come in. It's really a call to action, you know, to be a part of this project as well. The history of Los Angeles graffiti art is all of us. Even if you never wrote graffiti, you know, put it into this project because you want to see this done. We're going to print it with your help. We want to thank you for your contribution and belief in our project. Without you, it could not be possible. Rock, 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 rock.